to it so that we can get some games going. Uh, so Fortnite update 1.8 patch notes. Jump to save the world. Oh, save the world is the other Fortnite game. Battle Royale is what I've been playing. The free-to-play PvP game. It's free, guys. If you have, guys haven't tried it out, uh, I recommend it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, Fortnite update. So just like every other video game out there, uh, Fortnite's having their own Halloween update thingy. Um, Fort Nightmares. This is for the original game. Uh, instead of being zombies, I think it's like jack-o'-lanterns or whatever. And then for the Battle Royale, they're adding a ton of things. So first things first, they're adding ranked. If you guys ever played anything, it's 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 ranked. So, but it's it's a really interesting uh, way of ranked. Uh, you can look. I don't know if you can look at the global leaderboards. They didn't really give a lot of detail into it. But what I under to my understanding, uh, seasons will give each player a chance to level up their character. So they're adding seasons and rank. But the way I I saw or I heard people did it was. They're gonna put you in three different brackets: one for so single, for solos, duos, and squads. And every week, these leaderboards are gonna reset, and you're gonna be placed with 50 people to see if you can be the like the best in that bracket. There's also gonna be ranked with friends to see if you're who has the most wins or the best stats. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna have like an overall based on how good you do. I know I haven't gotten a win yet, but I've gotten second. Oh boy, I've placed top ten like maybe eight, nine times. I've gotten second like five times, and I owe some oh, some BS always happen. That's because I still don't know how to build forts properly. But I've gotten so close, and then top 25 is almost every game. Um, so in these two categories, I'd be really high, but I'd be at the bottom in wins with not a single freaking win every week, which is a little frustrating. But I'm hoping <laughs> to figure out how to get that victory, and I get kills. I average between five and eight kills a game, so I'm 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 I'm, I'm an aggressive, not an aggressive player. I do like to camp. But in Fortnite, it's really hard because for 100 players, I feel like the map's a little too small. Again, I'm rambling. So that's ranked. Uh, leaderboards are found here. I'm rank up against other players and friends in three categories. Seasons will give each player a chance to level up. So they're going to have a level up system. And I don't know how long the seasons are going to be. They haven't said. All I know is that the rank leaderboards changes every week. Items, shop, and lockers. This is the like probably the most requested thing. Uh, there is really no customization. You can't really create an avatar. Uh, they're selling skins. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna get to make a base avatar and then you get skins after that later. Uh, I need to. The patch doesn't come out till tomorrow, so we're gonna be playing a. I'm gonna be playing a game on patch 1.72. Patch 1.72, which is the one that's. The one that it's currently on. Uh, give me one second. Give me one. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I'm an I'm old soul. People call me grandpa, for those of you out there. Um, so yeah, no judging. <laughs> okay, so back to these patch notes. Uh, they're finally adding a shop, so you're going to be able to purchase these skins. You're going to be able to update your glider, which is basically like what you slowly fall off after, after you go skydiving. Uh, instead of being having being melee, you get a pickaxe, which is how you collect minerals or like just different. You get wood, bricks, and I think steel, and then you can build forts with that. And then uh, they're getting seasonal like seasonal skins, so these are for for Halloween. And then afterwards, and but they go away November fourth. I wonder if the details are down here. Oh well, but uh, these are just some of the stuff that that are gonna be coming in. All right. Let's get into the actual patch notes. Performance greatly reduces input lag latency. So this is for console, so this doesn't concern me. Oh, what am I doing? This doesn't concern me. Gameplay option, toggle targeting. Players now have the option to press their target button. Wait, is this just for consoles? Players now have the option to press their target button once to enter and leave the... Oh, okay, I see. So in... so. Fortnite doesn't have uh, ADS, which is aim down straight. You can only do like third person aim, I guess. And this is so that you only have to press it once and you can switch back and forth. That's actually a nice change. I prefer to hold it, but that's just me. I don't know if people like to do it some other way, then you go ahead and do that. Uh, patch notes, battle royale, highlights, introducing slurp juice, a regeneration pot that grants one health. Oh, this is really cool. So right now there's like there's not a lot of consumables, and that's one of the things the developers were talking about. The only two consumable, the only three consumables out there are the bandages, the med kits, 
and the the shielding the shield pots. I don't know what they're called, but I'm gonna call them shield pots. Um, so you start with 100 health, the bandages heal you up to 75, and that's it. And then the med kit heals you back to full. But it's kind of annoying that if you have let's say 60 health, you don't want to really waste a med kit on that because then that, uh, you're not getting like the most benefit out of it. Obviously, that's what you had to do. But now if you have bandages and then you find one of these, the slurp juice, enters a regeneration potion that grants one health and one shield per second for 25. So you get a total of 50 effective health. Because the shield is just more health, really. It doesn't really reduce uh, bullet damage. It just gives you more health. Uh, you will still get crit on headshots and stuff like that. And I, actually, a really, really nice addition. This is what it looks like. This is the slurp juice right here. Can't wait to try it out. This this patch comes live tomorrow, so we're going to be playing on the old patch. I'm just going to repeat that. You can now customize your character banner and equip any cosmetics in the new locker menu. I wonder if everything's going to be paid or if there's going to be some stuff that you can earn with like rewards or through leveling because I really don't want to spend money. If I ha I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm already really invested in this game, so I'm, I'm going to end up spending money just <laughs> like other games I've invested in. <laughs> Rip my wallet, but oh well. Voice chat comes to Xbox One. That's cool. Players will not auto pick up ammo. Oh, thank goodness! Players will not auto pick up ammo ability resources. So if you if you ever play this game and you open a chest, it'll be like if you're in a clo in a tight space, everything will be so clumped up, and maybe sometimes you don't want the weapon because you already have a better weapon and you just want to pick up the ammo and you have to like pick up everything just so that you can get it. And then you have to be switching. That's actually really really good. Now my only concern is if you see the ammo and you're like with a squad and everyone just runs at it, then it's going to be really hard to distinguish which ammo each person needs. So that is going to slow down the game if people want to coordinate which who gets the ammo first, or if everyone just picks it up, then they go look for a hiding spot and then they drop it. I don't know, but that's actually, like, I see that being more good than bad. I know I'm being a little pessimistic about it, but actually, that's a good change. New graphics are, are visible to players who are caught outside of the storm. The storm will visuals have been updated. Cool. Uh, new Halloween skins have been on sale, so that's what I talked. So, yeah, available to November 4th. Use V-Bucks to purchase items. Ah, I'm guessing you have to buy these V-Bucks. That sounds like something you have to buy. Character skins, Gold Trooper, Gold Trooper, Weapon Skins, Reaper. Okay, so these are these are just like skins for, like just cosmetics. This is what I was talking about. I just I, I ho like if it's just Halloween skins, I, I really want to know if I can I can customize my character, um, like just with stuff that's I guess stock, because I don't want to have a different avatar each game. I kind of want to make my own. Uh, slurp juice. Oh yeah, we already talked about it. Uh, so can heal players all the way to 100, which is really good, really good, really good. We need more consumables, way more. Um, there's this. This game has so much room to grow, and it's been getting a lot of hate because it's a lot like PUBG. Ah, uh, seriously, a lot like PUBG, but it it does has its tw it stuff. It does have its twist. Sorry, tongue twister there. And I do think that this game is gonna make it make it in the long run right now it has over like 10 million active players and like 600,000 concurrent players so there's like I get into matches really fairly like fairly quickly item shop players can now purchase a unique array of outfits gliders uh, oh wait uh, both weekly offers will rotate okay all items sold are cosmetic oh, okay purchase items can be equipped in the new locker screen prior to starting match purchases from battle royale store do not carry order to save oh, okay so two different games they're making it clear anything you buy in the PvE game will not be for Battle Royale. So that's actually really important because I've never played the PvE game, even though I've gotten really curious about it. I've heard good things about it, but right now, like, the, the, the in thing right now is, like, Battle Royales, and they're so much fun. I'm having a ton of fun with this game, but uh, good to know. So if I'm ever going to make a purchase, I need to make sure that I'm not super spending, I guess. Uh, locker. Players can now customize this character. Okay, so that's just a custom center. Set your banner, image, and color. Equip any purchased outfits, gliders, or purchased outfits. So is it going to be predetermined? Like, are they going to be, like, avatars? So I can't change, like, the color of the shirt and the color of the cap. It's a little annoying, not going to lie, but oh well. Rank up against other players and friends in the following categories. Total wins. Rip. Rip right here. Solo top 10. Solo top 10. Okay, so these, these right here, I... I can guarantee I'll be uh, uh, I'll be tearing it up in my ladder, but rip right here, rip this right here. God, if you watch my streams, I'll put like second greatest like battle royale player. I've gotten I'm cursed to never win in these games, but oh well. I, I don't I'm not a pessimist. I'll get it. I'll get it. But as of right right now, it's a curse. I'll keep getting second place until <laughs> further notice. There are currently two types of leaderboards. A division is a group. The division. 
Division group of 50 active players competing against each other to see who will take the top spot. You're automatically assigned to a new division each week. Each match type, solo duels, and squads get its own separate division. Friends leaderboards. Compare yourself to your friends. Oh, man, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, I already talked about this earlier, but that's really cool. All leaderboards reset weeklies on Wednesdays. So Wednesday is the magic. That's when it resets. Seasons. Seasons will give the player a chance to level up their character and earn unique season rewards and banner flare. The first season will give players a chance to level up to 100 uh, level display on their banner. Banner flare is awarded in levels 2 to 49, giving players an additional way to show off their mastery. There are two unique rewards that will be provided in the first season. They will only be earned by seasonal progress and cannot be obtained through other methods at this time. Level 10, unique seasonal banner. Level 25, unique seasonal glider. I don't know how long it'll take to level up, but that's cool. So, But I, I don't know how long the seasons are. Is Are the seasons just... I mean, the leaderboard resets every, resets every week, so that would mean that... That would mean that leveling up has to be real simple, because there is absolutely no way. I don't know how hard it is to get this. I don't know how long the seasons are. Players can boost their seasonal levels by participating in daily challenges. Any challenge will be provided each day with an ability to have up to three. Oh, that's cool. So, if, so historically, I've, I've been a Heroes of the Storm player, and they have something similar. They're called quests, not daily challenges. So it's good that they take from... I mean, this is basically stuff that the MOBA genre does... They're just implemented into this like really cartoony battle royale, and that's actually cool. I like I like when games take ideas from other games, and this is something super common. I know Heroes is the one that started this, and then now uh, I know Overwatch does it too. Uh, and then uh, what's it called? League of Legends is now doing it with their system with the boxes. It's actually real cool. Team voice chat, PlayStation, Xbox. Oh yeah, so you can't talk in game in consoles, but now you can. So that's cool for console players. Seasonal rocket launcher. Tis the season to be scared. Rocket launcher now has a creepy cosmetic. Oh, okay, that's cool. So the rocket launcher is gonna shoot pumpkins, pumpkin heads. Cool. New storm effects. Players caught inside the storm zone may be in for a frightening effect. Oh, so much intense. So this is updated for the Halloween event. I'm guessing. <laughs> combat Pro Controller. The new Combat Pro Controller config is aimed at keeping the user's thumbs on sticks as much as possible so they can make fast weapon swaps. Is this for a PC? I'm guessing this is for PC. Field to shooter players placing the map as a bu oh, Okay, so I'm guessing this is going to be like standard for consoles, but also for the controller players on PC. Gameplay added auto pickup. What do you saw that? Your player will. Uh, we'll loot these items. Okay, done. No, the trap items will not be automatically picked up, but you can still manually pick them up. Mm. I thought, I um, guess, okay, for this, it's going to be automatic. Okay, but now, like, guns and, guns and, like, aids and pots are going to be, wait, res uh, ammo? Okay, okay, okay. So, blueprints, that's what I, I like to call them, blueprints, because you have to build them, right? So, blueprints... The resources and the ammo will now be automatically picked up. That's a that's a good change. I already talked about that. And then, uh, and then the uh, everything else you have to still manually pick up with E. Okay. Reduce supply drop balloon health from. I actually never tried to shoot down a balloon. I don't know what. I know they're the ones that have the craters. So I don't. I don't. Two thousand health does seem like a lot though. Because let's say. A, a green. M16 looking assault rifle does around 33. No. Yeah, it does like 33 damage per bullet, assuming that you hit all of them. Yeah, that would take. Man, that's like two. One, two, three. It's like 40 rounds. That's the entire clip. And then some. That seems. 2000 seems like a lot, so that seems like a good change. But I don't see. If you drop. If you take it down, does it destroy it? I've never tried. When I see a, a crate, I just immediately look for people, make sure no one's around, and then I take whatever legendary weapons inside. Items which are spawned from treasure chests or ammo boxes are now less likely to be clustered together. Oh, so are they now spreading it out more when you... That's a really good change, thank goodness. That's a really good change because a lot... So like Again, in cramped spaces, it's like the ammo's on top of the gun, and you don't want the gun, but you have to press the gun because you can't click on the ammo. So if they're now spreading it out when you pick it up, that's a really good change, thank God. Fix supply drops not falling from structures in various cases. I haven't had that happen to me, but if it has happened, that's cool. Fix the bug, which caused stacked items not to automatically add it to the quick bar when picked up. I don't think I've had that happen to me either yet, but 
if it has happened, then good. They fixed it. Well, adjusted submachine gun. Ca okay, so now this is like uh, like balancing of weapons, common and uncommon. So that's the gray ones and the green ones. If you guys don't know the tiers, it's it's gray at the bottom, green for uncommon, blue for rare, purple for epic, orange for legendary, and then there's another one called gold named mythic, but I've never found one of those. And if I have and I haven't realized it, then the orange and the gold look almost identical. I can't really tell because they both say, the ones I picked up say five stars. I would think that Mythic is like six stars, but I've never picked one up like that. Um, if you play like World of Warcraft or any or even Hearthstone or any other game that has sort of like a different rarity type thing, it's usually that one. So this one's just doing the same thing. Rare damage increased from 12 to 13. Common. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So then, so gray and green damage increased by one for submachine guns. Oh, wow. Rare damage, so the blue ones from 12 to 13, that's the submachine gun. Decrease reload time by fifth, that's really good. If you watch my last stream, I was fighting against some girl that was like rushing us and I shot her to death and as I was, and it took me forever to reload, I almost died. And then I went up, I immediately switched to my assault rifle because it's just a better weapon. Yeah, the, the, the problem with the submachine guns is that they're supposed to be like rapid fire short range weapons, but the, the shotguns, even people right now are finding use for the pump action. If you can aim it to the head, it does like 140 crit, just the, the normal one. And then the green one, which is the only other variant that there is, there's like maybe 150, 160 crit. So if someone has one pot, a headshot is a kill. That's 150 effective health. They, they just straight up die. So the submachine guns are not very good. Of course, you want to pick them up if you don't have anything else. That's that it goes for any battle royale. You need weapons in order to survive. Uh, sniper, job, pre sniper rifle projectiles now leave a visual trail behind. Thank you. God, yesterday I was getting franked from three different places, and one of them was obviously a sniper, obviously a sniper rifle, and I had a sniper rifle, and I had no idea where it was coming from. Assault rifle, reduce accuracy penalty while moving. That's a really, really good change. Does not affect burst or scope variants. So this, this is talking about the SCAR and the M16, because those are the only assault rifles that are not the, the that are not, they're not talking about. Scoped assault rifle. Updated visuals when zoomed in. Tracer effects and smoke now match the weapon's behavior. Like uh, visual updates. Fixed an issue which. Sorry guys, just give me one second. All right. Uh, sorry about that. Let's go back. Scope to uh, fix an issue which caused the transition from hip fire precision to targeting to rotate the player cam downwards. Uh, oh, sorry. Excuse me. I think that happened to me with a scoped weapon. I don't know about a normal weapon. Usually, I I, I haven't had that issue. Fix an issue which caused recoil weapons not to recover if you begin. Oh my God. Fix an issue which caused recoiled weapons not to recover if you began reload. Oh my god, I know exactly what that means. Like the, the 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 reticle, like if you're running, the reticle wouldn't get smaller, and then I would feel like it's like just the bullets were just going everywhere. If that's what they're talking about, thank God, because I mean, you can hate on this game, but it's 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 in its super super early development stages. They have a lot of stuff that they have to fix, and I'm willing to ride along with it. I did it with Heroes of the Storm, and man, I went through some through some development, like, God, some development hell issues that just made me want to break my keyboard, but that's never stopped me. All right. Controls aiming, sensitivity controller. Okay. For on controllers. Default key bindings. 
I already changed these to my mouse keys, so that doesn't affect me, but let's see. Is it three all the way to six? That seems a little uncomfortable. Uh, that's cool though. Uh, I know it was like one, two, three, four for your like web like for your six slots and then Z and X. Uh, improved how interactions such as teammate revives pickups and opening doors are prioritized when there are multiple possible options. Smooth out the camera transition between riding the battle bus and beginning to smooth out the camera transition between riding the battle bus and beginning to skydive. Oh what? Oh my god, they got off. Mm. Oh yeah, there's like a little delay where it's like you drop and like the camera so the camera's like up here and then it like goes to where you are and then it, it looks hella weird. That's a good that's a good change. Improve how interactions just team revive pickups, opening doors prioritize when there are multiple possible options so, okay smooth out the camera transition between riding the bus and beginning to skydive how much do we have save the world we're gonna skip this we're only looking at we're only looking at uh battle rail just real quick yeah we're skipping this um world added more loot to the area with containers south of tomato town and shifted the containers to better align with building grid I have a feeling that making this announcement is going to make a lot of players go there. A lot. More loot. Big mistake, Epic. Epic. <sighs> Alright, well I'm staying away from the south side of Tomato Town. Fixed issues where grass could be hidden on certain types of terrain. If you look at an optimization video made by, I want to say IGN, I'm not sure though. They do uh, like a rundown on what your settings should be to get like the smoothest FPS and also the best possible thing. And I think he recommends that you turn off effects and other things that might be distracting. And one of them is turn off the grass because people could like hide in it. So if you if you haven't done that, do that because it, it gives you an advantage. I don't know if they're going to fix that later because it's people hiding in shrubs. I know PUBG had this issue where people were hiding in shrubs and could, no one could find them. I know you can do that in this one. It's not as bad because you can sort of see their head if they're if you're at, at the right angle, but it's still really bad. Audio voice chat now works while spectating teammates and after the match ends. Decrease the distance players can hear ceiling and wall chop yeah, audio. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, I usually use Discord and I play with friends I haven't played against like randoms, so. That's a good change if that's a thing. Decrease the distance players can hear ceiling and the wall chop. That is huge because, oh my god, every time I would set, like, let's say a ceiling trap with, like, that thunder thing, you could hear it from a mile away. You could hear the zzz, zzz, and I'm like, okay, don't go under there. Or I'm like, is this going to help me? I'm, like, camping. I, I killed, like, two guys inside this barn, and I, I set up my fort, right, and I set up a trap on, on the back door so that I, don't, I wouldn't have to worry about that. And... But it would make a lot, I, every, and everywhere in the barn that I was, it, it would just make a lot of noise. That's actually a really good change. Added ambient zap audio to play, to, uh, uh, added ambient zap audio to placed Wait. wall traps, okay. Fixed issue that caused footstep audio to be drowned out while other sounds are playing. That's a really good change. So if there's like fires being shot, you can, very softly hear steps if someone's coming at you. It's yeah, a really good change. Fix an issue which would cause the footstep sounds to trigger mul multiple times per oh, step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is gonna... I don't know. Did that happen to me? Because, I mean, I hear steps, obviously. My headset's pretty good at that, but I wonder... I wonder... I wonder. I guess we're gonna be playing in 172, so I'm gonna be looking out for this. I'm gonna see if it actually sounds like it's a lot, and then next patch I'll tell you if I did notice a difference. Added several new ways to access the item shop, locker, and other feet. Okay. Added a season shop tab. This preview will feature still in development that will be implemented. Okay, so this isn't for right now. Change not change the message of the day. New change how the okay this message now pops up before you enter the matchmaking lobby, but only. If there is new information added since the last time you saw, okay, so it, it won't like stay there because I have known about the Brazil and Asia fixes since I started playing this game in the latest patch. Improve the look and feel of stats interface. It was really bland, but it would take a few games for it to update, so that's good. 
adjust ready color from consumable items. The chance of finding these items in chest or in the world remains unchanged. Medkits is now green. Shield potion is now blue. Okay. So shield pots are rare more, or I guess rarer than medkits. Which makes sense, because you get, like, shields. Shields are really powerful. If you find a shield, just drink it. <laughs> You'll win a lot of traits because of it. But they should make more of them, because just like in, in every other battle royale, you have easy access to like helmets and armor and I feel like that's the equivalent of it um, they should not be that rare because in fights it 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 determines like if two players are equally skilled the person with the pot obviously wins but if the guy that didn't have it like saluted like six or seven six or seven buildings and didn't find one and the other guy found like two or three he's been winning fights because of it and that's a little unfair I feel like these should be a little bit more common I hope there's something about it Added the highlight background in behind the currently active billing resource. The menu can now be opened while spectating. Resources can now be dropped while using a controller. Mm, that's not for me. The menu can now be opened while spectating. Oh, so you can be spectating and then go back. Okay, that's cool. So you don't have to. Wait. So you, you can be in like the return to lobby. That's cool. I actually like that change because um, when I die and I'm spectating in a buddy, sometimes I wish I could be like looking at. Some other things, like in the menu, there's not much to see, but I mean that's a good change. Remove grass from the options menu. Wait. Oh, really? Oh, that's gonna be so troll. So like I was saying, uh, you can remove the grass, so people like would go in prone, and you wouldn't be able. Oh, that is so troll. I mean, I guess it's it's it has to be there just because it's part of the game and people should be able to use that to their advantage. But I got I got kind of used to it. I could see people on the ground from a mile away and then I would just shoot them down. Oh well, fix an issue that caused your weapon to continue firing after opening the full screen map. Final damage is done to an enemy, not to display hit effects. I have had where the reticle like hits, but it doesn't show it doesn't show how much damage it did. So I couldn't really like gauge how much they had. Fix an issue which caused the reticle to remain faded out after reloading or when out of ammo. Not sure not sure about that one. I don't think that's happened to me. Um trees and foliage will no longer cause very low frame rates when material quality is set to anything lower than high. Implemented profile guided optimization to help overall CPU performance on consoles. Improved threat affinity on console. Okay, so this is console, console. Improved animation system performance. Cool. Okay. Reduced hitching. No hitching issues on all platforms. Fixed grainy visual effects on trees with certain graphic configurations. I'm trying to think. I don't think. I don't know. If I, I didn't notice, I guess. Ugh, man. Sorry, I'm taking so long. No issue. Selecting a party member in the lobby will display an incorrect banner. Other players' gliders may appear lopsided if a glider cosmetic is equipped. Other players' gliders may appear lopsided if a glider is cosmetic. Okay. I'm guessing this is for the new. This one. Incorrect banner. I don't know what it means. Isn't that come in this patch? Other players' letters may appear lopsided if a letter cosmetic is equipped. Uh, are they warning us? Because this isn't live yet. Or if I can change a banner, then I don't know where. I'm assume this is going to be like something that's going to be wrong on the next patch, but they're working to fix it, but they have to add it, but they're telling us about it. I'm okay with that. And yeah, that's the rundown of the Fortnite Battle Royale. Uh, I don't know if I will play the PvE. I think I'm just going to wait for it to go free to play and then I'll try it out. Uh, if I do get some money soon, I guess I'll buy the, the early access and I'll try it out, check it out, see what it's like. But for now, we're going to stick to the Battle Royale. And with that, we are done with the patch notes. So let's...